force of friction as we already learned in our previous lesson that friction is a contact force that acts against the motion of an object in this chapter let us learn about various factors affecting the friction and types of friction now let us learn about the importance of friction force of friction is very important for us to perform many activities and there are many things that we could not do without the force of friction including walking writing driving etc you could not walk without the friction between your feet or shoes and the ground as you try to step forward you push your foot backward friction holds your shoe to the ground allowing you to walk consider how difficult it will be for us to walk on smooth or tiled surface where there is little friction friction is also very important for writing with a pen or pencil you could not hold a pencil in your hand without friction and the pencil lead would not make a mark on the paper without friction a pencil eraser uses friction to rub off mistakes written with pencil lead you could not ride your bicycle if there is no friction between the surface of the tires and the street and the bicycle can be stopped by applying brakes due to the friction between the brakes and the tires apart from all the advantages of friction there are some problems due to friction like it wastes the energy it makes the movement difficult it produces heat now let us perform a small activity to understand the direction of friction take a cup and place it on the left side of the table and gently push the book towards the right side you observe that it stops after moving certain distance now place the same cup on the right side of the table and push it gently towards the left side you can again observe that it stops moving after certain distance the force that stops the movement of the cup is the force of friction if you apply the force along the left friction acts along the right if you apply the force along the right the friction acts along the left direction in both cases the force opposes the motion of the cup the force of friction always opposes the applied force in this case the force of friction acts between the surface of the cup and the surface of the table